What's up guys, at today we are gonna be checking out a little Dirt 5. Now, uh, this is crazy, all right? The game doesn't come out until October, and here we are in June being able to check it out for the first time. Nearly four months from release and we've got some early access, that's pretty special. So huge thank you to Codemasters for including me in their Racing Ahead program and giving me the opportunity to bring you guys some early gameplay. Now, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know I've, I've covered some trailers and stuff like that on this game, but Dirt 5 is shaping up to be super, super solid. It looks like it's going back to its roots of Dirt 2 and 3, and uh, it's got a really interesting career mode that I can't wait to hop into. Uh, some heavy hitting names in there. So, uh, Troy Baker is the, the voice of Joel in The Last of Us. He's one of the main characters in the career mode of this game, and then you've also got Nolan North who's the voice behind Nathan Drake in the Uncharted series. So just those two names alone is going to make this pretty special on top of the fact that it's going back to the roots of, like I said, 2 and 3. Everybody loved those games. So uh, I'm, I'm excited for October. I'm excited to check out the full thing. But like I said, we do have a little bit of early access here today. Uh, the career mode basically covers a ton of different like vehicle types and ton of different locations around the world. And this is just like a small snippet of what to expect. So it looks like we've got Ultra Cross, land rush stampede and sprint events here I guess we can just kind of kind of go down the line right all right so let's select our vehicles here looks like we've got an escort Lancer Evo 6 okay Subi Impreza Oof. man some big boys over here at the end mm. where is this Norway just guessing just based off that name it's got to be somewhere up there somewhere up in the north get ready Hope y'all are buckled up and ready to go. This is my first time, first time playing. Haven't hopped on the game at all yet, so this should uh, this should be interesting. Gonna get off to a decent start here. Ooh, look at those rays from the sun glaring all over our windshield and everything. All right, we're looking pretty good so far. So B is my e-brake. We're obviously gonna wanna use that quite a bit. And we're gonna see what we can do. We got our mini map in the bottom left. Gonna have to keep an eye on that. First time on this track, so I'm not really sure what to expect. We've got three laps around. Ooh, okay. I didn't have an option to choose a difficulty, and it looks like these guys are. Uh, it looks like they're pretty solid here. Looks looks like we're we're definitely not definitely not in an easy one. I'm gonna try to hold off second place here. Looking pretty good. We've got aim hail up here in front of. Oh, sh okay. So, took that quarter a little bit too short. We're going to be fine. Oh, look at the sprays of the water. That ocean out there. Going to try to keep it dry for you boys today. Get through here. Oh, man, the reflections and everything. Now, you know, keep in mind that it, it is, like I said, we've got nearly four months of development left. So, um, you know, obviously this isn't the final state of the game, but, I mean, so far to me it looks pretty good. Definitely a lot more arcadey than like a, a dirt rally type game. Like I said, going back to those those roots of the old dirt games, which is, is gonna be pretty exciting. Wow, these guys, I mean, they're they're quick. They are quick. We gotta we gotta pick it up a bit here, Trev. I remember this, this is our first corner of the race. We got a hard right through here. Trading some paint. If you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. I I'm just I'm Honestly, kind of stressed out a little bit because I feel like we had a pretty good first lap and it it wasn't enough to, to stay in first. Oh, slow down, Trev. We're good. Okay. Saved it. We're solid. But yeah, these, I mean, these guys aren't, these guys aren't messing around. I feel like a lot of times in demos, you kind of get your hand held a little bit and it takes it easy on you. Here, come by our game because you, you automatically win every race, but that's obviously not what's happening here and not really what I want to happen anyway all right we've got a, a solid lead here over the the rest of the pack but we are gonna have to get around this guy Woo. okay we're looking all right starting to get our line down a little bit hit the e-brake a bit there when we probably didn't have to did you just they you got it you got to keep your speed up Ooh, that's a wall that's gonna slow us down a little bit. We're fine though, just shut the door on him. Don't let him around you, there's no reason. Oh shoot, he got around us on the outside. All right, so we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have one more lap after this one. I feel like the second half of the, the track, we really don't have to break all that often. That was not a good corner, Trev. Oof. We had all four tires just screeching. 
sliding all over the place. Here we go. We just you just gotta keep that throttle pin, Trev. When in doubt, throttle out. It's definitely arcadey, but there is still there's there's still quite a bit of technicality to it. You know what I mean? It's it's not I don't know. It's it's an interesting balance. I like it. Definitely not a sim racer though. I don't know. I like both. I feel like I kind of tend to like arcade racers a bit more. Sim racing's fun. It's just it's so intense. Like something like this is something that you can kind of pick up and just kind of enjoy yourself with. All right, remember, Trev, we don't really need to use the e-brake all that much through here. I think we mainly just want to keep our speed up. Let's stay out of the mud as best we can. We have a decent lead over second. Oh, shoot, I forgot about this. Woo! All right, staying, staying clean. That rear quarter is in good shape. So start-finish line is coming up, and we were able to get first place, baby. Time of 4.08.929. All right. So that's our first race down. Got a first place right off the bat. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and move into our uh, our second event. We're going to switch up locations, switch up car types, and see what we got next. Zymo Run in China. Oof. Ah, we've got some aerial nomads out here. Okay, this is a really interesting car class. Do we? I, I kind of want to check this thing out. This thing just looks big and bulky, though. 518 horsepower, real wheel drive, 2,800 pounds. See, that's crazy. We could be half the weight. We also lose a lot of horsepower, though. All right, we got to give it a go. I feel like this thing is going to be a bit sluggish. It's going to be a brute, though. Like maybe we're going to be able to use it like a, a wrecking ball. Just run through some people. Got different... Uh, you know, times of day and weathers and stuff like that. You guys can see in this race, we've got morning and clear, which is going to be nice. But that's cool. So, like, if you replay tracks, it's always going to be a little bit different. Whew. Here we go. She sounds mean. She looks mean. Let's see. Let's see if she can get her done. Let's get after it. Looks like a lot of the... A lot of the CPU players are, are kind of rocking the same the same thing here, so that's good. Got an even even playing field. Nobody's in those light aerials. See, this is a totally different terrain here. Definitely a lot looser dirt. Don't have any asphalt in between. We're looking all right so far. Just kind of throw some shapes around. The, ooh, that was not our not our best corner there. I'm not gonna lie. Looks like we're able to hold off our, our top spot for now, though. Okay, let's let's go ahead and uh, you know tighten tighten up the reins a bit here, Trev. You're getting a little a little sloppy out there. Lots of cool um, cool libraries we've got going on. I know that's that's a big thing that they're gonna have in the main game is really cool custom libraries for your career performance and stuff like that. It's gonna be pretty sick. I mean, this one honestly, it it, it feels pretty good. I feel like, all right, that's going to be the end of our first lap. We've got a couple left. I feel like this this track is a lot more kind of straightforward. Don't really have to hit the e-brake all that much. We're just kind of kind of flat out racing, just cruising, which is kind of nice. We are definitely performing better than our first race. Got a nice solid lead here. Might have to take a minute and kind of smell the roses a little bit take a look at the map outside of I like all these gates we're driving around we've got all these crazy cliffs and mountains and stuff and the bamboo and the cherry blossoms and definitely a, a departure from the snowy white north we came from definitely gonna be a, a large variety of, of vehicles and and types of racing which is cool give you different challenges throughout your career Although, to be honest, I feel like this one was not much of a challenge. Looks like this is going to be it. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. Your boy got it done. 342. That's not too bad. The Tahuka Forest in Brazil. All right, let's check this out. I mean, we already kind of checked out the, the X-Road vehicle here, the, the Cross-Raid vehicles. I'm going to check out the Super Lights 
We want the aerial nomad, nomad tactical, blitz world beast. I'm gonna say let's let's run with the the straight up normal aerial nomad here. So this thing's gonna be a lot different. That last one had a lot of you know just horsepower, a lot of speed, a lot of just brute force. This is gonna be a bit more nimble. Be able to throw it around a bit more. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, yeah, she is. She is jumping the gun here. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Watch. Uh. Yeah. That. Um. Not. Not exactly. Not exactly how I wanted this race to start, but we're gonna be okay. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at all the mud and everything. Woo. Let me go ahead and uh, just use you as a bumper. Just try to get get up front. Oh, there's so much happening right now. We're good. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Use of the apex there, able to get around that. Whoa, we got some confetti, dude. Look at all the favelas and stuff. This is sick. Man, this thing is stressful, though. This thing is, is so fast and so light. I just feel like I'm going to spin out at any moment. I feel like I'm all over the road. All right, let's slow it down a bit. Kind of get some control here. I don't want to go around this. There we go. Feeling a, a little... A little bit better now. Watch out for the roots there. That could have been disastrous. We got a cliff on our left. We got mountains on our right. Got to jump up ahead. Got to keep our speed up for that. Wow, look at this. Here we go. Not too bad. Got some smoke signals out here. Oh, look at that, dude. Get a nice little, little bumper tap there. Lots of verticality in this one, going straight up this crazy cliffside. Dude, this, I mean, this is, it's just, it's so fast. It is so, I, I feel like the last one, I, I, I'm just not prepared for this. The last one, I felt like I was just kind of going through the motions a little bit. Like, we were in a comfortable lead, it had a lot of straights, and we were in a heavy car that was easy to manage. Now we're on these crazy back roads, and this thing is trying to jump off the road as, as soon as it gets a chance. Looks like we're, we're handling it pretty well, though. Got a nice, solid first place spot. Dude, this is going to be crazy. So we've got over 900 horsepower in these little guys. Look at the size of that wing. Look at the size of our tires. Look at that right rear compared to the left rear. Are you kidding me right now? All right, I'm... I'm I'm stuck to this dude now, so that's not good. We got, oh, dirt flying all over the place. Wow! Oh my goodness. Okay, this is really hard. This is not easy. All right. All right. We, we got to find our line here. I don't, I don't really know where the line is. We got to kind of feather the gas a little bit. Maybe you got to turn right to go left. Lightning McQueen taught me this. Old Doc Hudson. My gosh, dude, this is insanity. It, it's honestly, I, I don't, I'm going to have a hard time with this one. I, I don't know that, I'm kind of sad because we were doing really well. How many laps do we have? We've got, we've got two left. We were perfect on first places so far, but we're, I mean, we're getting just absolutely hammered here. We're up at a sixth place, down at a seventh place. Okay, yeah, they, I mean this We're just riding the wall here. I, I'm just I'm getting I'm getting destroyed Okay To be honest, I feel like we had kind of a bad start. We got Linked up with that one dude couldn't never really find our, our groove, but to be honest, I, I don't I don't really know. I, I don't really know the line we need for this oh, Solid 10th place first 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 10th That's exactly how it should go 10th out of 12. Fantastic job, Trev. Just great, great job all around there. I think we've got a little bit of work to do on, on this style of racing, but um, yeah, man, there it is. I mean, unfortunately, that's all we have so far. You know, like I said, it's it's crazy that we're playing this four months before it comes out, and I definitely appreciate that. It just, it left me wanting more, so I'm excited for this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I definitely think the career mode's gonna be a series. You guys know I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good racing game with the career mode and story tied up into it and uh, i'm excited to see how it goes so again thank you to code masters 
Good luck with the rest of development here, and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what we should play next. I'll see you guys there.